Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Pilgrim and to another review on my shelf there. The Wall Beneath the Bridge. Yeah. Uh, on this one, I will have another Rocktown, Arkansas whiskey with to review. And yeah, this is actually the first time ever I have tried a hickory smoked whiskey. Yeah, that's true. This is a hickory smoked whiskey. It's f matured four years in ex uh, bourbon cast from the distiller itself. So yeah, cool, right? And it's just been um, yeah, hickory smoked. Interesting. So it's not peat smoke. Is it called peat smoke? Peat bugs thing. And this is hickory. Yeah. Let me show you. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know much to say. It's apparently made of something called red winter wheat. It's a small batch thing. This is uh, batch number 23 and bottle number 189. Yeah. Small batch handcrafted, kind of it says. We like to hear that. And even though it can sometimes be deceiving. Um, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I, since I never tried a uh, hickory smoked whiskey before, I, I have nothing to compare it to. More in fact, it's very strange, very odd, and yeah, because the, the hickory is something I usually would uh, um, find in barbecue sauces when you have a hickory sauce, hickory barbecue sauce. So it's quite different, quite very different, but yeah, but that's cool, isn't it? To try different kind of whiskies. So if you just look at this color, you don't think that's the most important thing, but. You can see it's been like a bourbon cask. It's been four years, so yeah, it's allowed to be called a whiskey. So the nose, you really get this very, not like smacking your face, but there's this hickory, and yeah. So the thing is that I can honestly just get the hickory. Spices of the hickory smoke. Something that should resemble the barrel, the experiment, but it's very hard for me to find a typical bourbon characteristic, bourbon like vanilla and that. Due to the hickory smoke, it's very hard to find. Yeah. I'm having really trouble there to actually find because this is so different. I'm usually I'm not used to this, and I don't think many people actually try hickory smoked whiskies or drink or into whiskies. So yeah, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I can just get the hickory hickory spice notes there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the palate then. Cheers. You immediately get the hickory and some of the verbal influence of the wood. But yeah. There's something creamy and buttery about it, but it's just a little bit on the background. There's some kind of notes of um, caramel and um, caramelized sugar and um, vanilla. But it's quite dry, I would say. And just the hickory itself, it's so different. <laughs> it's so different. Having a really hard time finding the notes actually there. Anything else there? Um, maybe some lemon, I guess. Lemon says the thing. But yeah. It is very different. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I bought this mostly because it cost like 40 euros, I think. I paid for this bottle actually at Masters of Malt when they had them. So, <clears throat> yeah. It is interesting. It is interesting. Um, will I recommend this to you? I recommend you to first smell it before try it because it's such a difference with the smoke. It, I had. Actually, tried to um, 
uh, make some people like smoke whiskey to try this and they have not liked this one at all. I like it. It's very different. It's not something I would drink on any, many occasions because it's so different. I'm not used to it yet. But it's really cool. I mean, it's basically very different. It's a cool thing to have in your your um, yeah, your tea collection, I think. Uh, Balkans have one. I think it's called the Brime, Brimestone. Um, could could be interesting to try that one just to see how that one is compared to this one. But I wouldn't first buy a sample because that one is so much more expensive than this one. At least when I bought it. So yeah, I recommend you try or at least try to smell the hickory. It's very different if you don't if you do like smoked whiskies. Yeah, that was a burp. I'm sorry. It is different. So yeah. I recommend you try and at least try to smell a bottle if someone has one open. It's so different, very different. I can't stretch that. More than an hour done. So yeah. I will see you next time. Cheers. And take care. Bye.